Hello people, coming to you from Ansara Angels and this is a video about the North Korean situation with Kim Jong-un who has threatened war with the United States and threatened to strike us with various types of nuclear weapons and various types of high explosive conventional weapons as well which since he has the fourth largest military in the world the conventional weapons are probably more of a threat than the nuclear weapons at this time although he could strike cl either close by in Japan or uh, South Korea with something nuclear or sneak something in to the United States to actually hit a target in Guam or Alaska would take a conventional weapon and high explosive conventional weapons uh, are being amassed along the east border, the eastern border of Korea and the U.S. has sent additional arsenal to Guam. So things are heating up over there pretty severely. They're trying to ratchet it down, but this has to be taken seriously, and indeed it is. And today is April 4th, 2013, just for the record. Okay, so Dennis Rodman, as you know, had went to North Korea last month to, you know, in a diplomatic type event, on his own really, and he had mentioned that Kim Jong-un would probably be happy if President Obama would call him and communicate with him and you know we'll see what's going on with that. I'm sure President Obama knows what he's doing. Again, there's more of a threat at the moment from conventional high explosive weapons mounted on mobile launchers. This is about money, of course. It's about the manipulation of the stock market. It's about the manipulation of the price of gold and the manipulation of the price of copper uh, and in other forms of precious and, and base metals. Uh, it's also about uh, America feeling there needs to be some kind of trade embargo with China because there's feelings that there's not a fair trade agreement, that China has an unfair advantage over America. And so everybody has their own point of view. And I'm not here to argue about who's right and who's wrong just that everybody feels they've been slighted in some way and that's why these things get heated up like this. It's always about money and feelings that one is not being treated fairly or that one is not being respected. So that's obviously what's going on. And of course China sort of can tell Kim Jong-un what they feel he should do and he'll probably listen to them more than they're going to listen to anybody else. And he may be indeed, they've called him a kamikaze pilot of the Chinese and that kind of a thing and really the war from the 50s with the United States and North and South Korea as you know that never ended it only was uh, there was a truce declared not a treaty just a truce and the truce is broken he's, he's threatened that he is at war with the United States that we are at war and now it's just a question of us taking him seriously and indeed again they are taking him seriously at this time they meaning the the higher-ups in the United States military. The generals are taking him very seriously, as is the rest of the world that are asking everybody to ratchet it down. Okay, this is the president of South Korea. Her name is Park Gwyn Height, and she uh, has said that she takes the threat very seriously and she doesn't appreciate being threatened. And President Obama is taking the threat seriously as well. And I'm sure he doesn't appreciate being threatened either. So there you have it. This is Rosemary. And thank you for listening. And you keep safe.